Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today is the topic is about I'm going to cover Microsoft Fabric series. And we had already discussion about the data factory in Microsoft Fabric. Yeah. I have shown you a couple of examples also. Now, today's topic is about the data flow, how what is data flow and how to use data flow in Microsoft Fabric. I think but uh, data flow gen two ways. So guys, data flow provide a low code interface for ingesting data from hundreds of data sources and transform your data using 300 plus data transformations. So guys, simple guys, it is no need for write the code, okay? You can load the data from different of data sources. Like for example, you want to fetch from Excel sheet or O data services, you want to fetch from the SQL server or any database, any cloud, right? You can fetch it and transform that data with help of 300 plus data, it means like you can apply the logics. Then you can load data into multiple destinations like such as Azure SQL database and more. And more. Data flow generator repeatedly using manual or scheduled refresh. So guys, we can execute it by manual or schedule as part of that uh, data pipeline orchestrator. Or you can do it with help of data flow with publish by publishing or you can schedule it. Okay. And data flow are built in the uh, using the uh, familiar of Power Query experience that are available today. Microsoft products such as Excel, Power BI, uh, Power Platform, Dynamic 365, and more. Power Queries empower all users from citizen to professional data integrator to perform data ingestion, data transformation across the data. So, guys, per perform join aggregation, data cleansing and the custom transfer and much more. So you can do such like, uh, there are, uh, this data flow can utilize in many ways, the, like as per these tools, whatever I mentioned here. So right now we are going to utilize this data flow, the Microsoft Fabric, and we are applying some join and aggregation case in my example with low code UI, okay? So right now uh, the data flow gen is available in Microsoft Fabric, connected to various data sets and perform transformation power query online. They can be run data pipeline, ingestion data into labels and another multiple stores. Okay, to two different data sets of Power BI report. So guys, in this example, I'm going to utilize how uh, fetching the O data with the data flow gen and applying the uh, aggregation and as well as join and loading into labels, guys. In this example, I'm going to cover. So before going in, uh, uh, like on the practical scenario, I just want to tell you what is O data. So guys, O data is an ISO, IES approval and OASS is standard that define a set of dashboard for building consume your APIs. It enable to create rest based services which allow resource identify using a uniform resource. Simple guys, with the help of uh, uh, this O data protocol, we are getting the uh, with the help of rest API. So we are getting the resources, guys. Nothing but some if you have already defined some data model. Uh, in your database, in database. So the data model, you want to fetch it with help of some URL REST API. So uh, with help of O data, we can achieve this. So, uh, and it can be published with help of web clients using HTTP messages. O data help application to focus on business life without worrying about the various API approach to define request and respond header status for the HTTP method. Simple as whenever you fetch, uh, you are typing the URL, that URL and goes to back in, and fetching the information from back in data. So sometimes it won't to uh, fetch in the data to give some status code, right? Some error code, right? So those kind of similar stuff also we can uh, get it, okay? But thing is like that with help of the uh, REST API or data services is enabled to uh, get the data uh, for, with help of URL, guys, okay? Uh, in a data model. So right now I'm going to showcase you how to implement this one. So these are the theory part guys about O data with the data flow gen two. So now I'm going to show you how to do the practical scenario. So guys, once you log in into that uh, uh, Microsoft Fabric, click on data factory. Okay, right now my order in data factory. Let me close this one. Okay. Now I'm clicking on this one new. Um, I'm going to my space and select data factory. You can go ahead like this also, or you can go ahead in my workspace also, guys. I'm creating data for Gen2. Now, here I'm selecting get data. Guys, if you click on more, okay. So here, these are the data sources which we are getting. If you want to see more, see these are the Excel sheet text, CSV, XML, JSON, SharePoint, Oracle, Data Database, 
So number of data sources are available. Here. If you want to fetch file, database, Microsoft Fabric, you want to get it inside of data flow, data mart, warehouse, right? Uh, KSQL database, nothing but this one for real time analytics. Uh, so those kind of K, K, KQL databases, right? You want to fetch it from there, you can get it. Or Azure online services. Oh, many things are available. Right now, I'm just searching over data. Okay. I have searched this over data. I'm mentioning the URL. Okay. Click on next. So in this over data, it is this north wind. Okay. It having some data models, guys. From the data model, I'm selecting mm, only few tables for me. Okay. The data model already created in this URL. See. This is the whole data and it contains um, many tables. Guys. I'm selecting here customers and others. I want only two. Okay. I'm clicking on create. So it got uh, two tables. Guys. Okay. So I'm just, uh, I mean, guys, uh, already I have done some couple of examples right now. So you have to switch into diagram view. Okay. Whatever your options you want, you can select. Okay. And uh, after this, and now I'm going to apply some group by transformation guys, which will help to me to get the account. Okay, suppose in order I want to apply some group by. Okay, I'm going to transformation tab. Select this one. One second, guys. So when you select this order, so it automatically shows you. So here order already has mentioned. Or else I want to apply and customer, you can or order ideas. So you can based on your requirement, you can select it. So now I'm selecting customer ID here. Why? Because this customer ID is available in both side table. I want to find out uh, customer ID count the customer ID column. It contains many values. The each value, how many are there? How many uh, values are? For example, see. So it is searching that. If you see. V I N E T it can then five. T I mean the values are having five. Like this, we can find out it. And this is the like uh, valid, invalid, errors, how many are there. So it will automatically showcase to us. So I'm just to uh, uh, drag to minimize. Now I have applied the group and now I have to I want to apply customers joins. Okay. So guys, merger is nothing but here joins and union. You can do both things. Now I'm selected the right table order. Now I'm selecting the customer and customer here. So automatically estimating matching, right in a, it automatically shows how much matching of rows. Okay. From first table. Now I'll the left order and click on OK. Okay. So I applied two things here. One is I've uh, done the aggregation operation and second is match. Now if I want to select, if I want to add, like for example, Choose column. I want only few columns only. I don't want more order to write and want facts, phone number. I don't want, I don't want region. I want customer demography. I want so I want this column. So, so choose the column, right? Just click on press button, select required column. So I have selected the required column. Now you can click on this one to add destination. So my destination would be the lakehouse. So I'm editing connection, sign in. Okay, it is asking like default guys. Uh, for this one trial version, I could see like we can one connection can be mentioned for one the uh, for uh, one account. Okay, right now, so I'm clicking on next. So I'm selecting the lake house target. So I want to create here. Okay, I'm selecting the lake house now. Inside here, I want to create B one lake. Okay, here I'm mentioning. Uh, I'm just mentioning for identification. Click on next. So, guys, uh, I just I mentioned this the table has to be created over here in the inside the Legos. If you want inside this database, okay. Now, so it will take time, guys, couple of minutes. So here it is mentioning update existing data represented by the schema, new data, new data represented by the schema, append. If I'm mentioning default, if you want to change any data, we can change it. So I'm mentioning like has a default this. So now save it. So guys, once everything is done, you can here two options are available, publish later, publish now. 
it in the scheduling. Right now, I don't want to schedule. I'm just clicking on publish now. So the data is getting published. Uh, so let's see. Okay. So once it got uh, published here, we will verify this one. It will take time. So just hold on. So once data for six is, uh, I mean, here it is showing. I just refresh this screen. Now the refresh is happening. Okay. Once it got completed refresh button, then we can see the table got created or not in that uh, particular lake house, particular data. Okay. Let's see. Refresh it again. It's taking time. Well, uh, like this, we can load data from over data to uh, Lakehouse guys with help of data from Gen 2 in the Microsoft login. I hope we'll.